look at this fine, fine house on a beautiful spring day here in New York City. Welcome to the World Science Festival. Science and story is our mission. What is science but the story of our understanding of the world? The story of civilization on some level. Um, the story of great discoveries. And one time I had this dream that I was strand binging. I grabbed a bunch of books and I went and sat in a park. As I was sitting there in this park, suddenly the authors of the books that I binged started to appear. Sean Carroll, E.L. Doctorow, Joe Marchant, Joyce Carroll Oates, and Stephen Pinker. Of course, that would never happen. Anyway, welcome to, uh, to uh, the right angle science and story. Thanks for being here. I'm always happy to be uh, on a panel with such an interesting and intelligent people. And the idea of the World Science Festival is very exciting and very appealing. Joyce, how, how would you respond to the intersection of science and your work as a novelist and a storyteller? Well, both Edgar and I are really chroniclers of American history and American culture, just American life, and science is part of that. But I think the most exciting feature of science in the 19th century, let's say, is the, is the discovery of, of evolution or evolutionary theory. The idea that the brain operates by the processing of information, by signals, by codes, by transformations, uh, is, uh, I think, an essential insight into demystifying the fact that this three-pound hunk of matter can be intelligent. If it turns out that neuroscientists can someday replicate the brain in a computer, and there are some people, I think, in Switzerland who are trying to do that now. And even though it, it, billions and billions of connections are involved, their position is that the brain is finite. When that happens, um, presumably, uh, when we can replicate the brain, it will have consciousness. I right? took a very depressing quiz on the internet recently. Uh, it was, they had 20 poems. Ten of them had been written by human beings, and ten of them had been artificially intelligently generated. And usually I'm really good at this, but it was like 50-50. I yeah. could not tell which <laughs> poems had been written by human beings. It's actually not completely clear whether uh, the actual subjective experience of being alive and awake and, and, and aware and seeing red and hearing middle C and tasting sour and so on depends on being made out of human flesh, that is whether you want to be a meat chauvinist about consciousness, or whether it's a question of processing patterns of information. I think it's also important for people to have the two aspects of the mindset of science that cuts across any scientific oh, yeah, yeah. Con content. One of them is trying very hard to determine whether what you believe is true, and to be very skeptical of your own confidence in your own beliefs. And the other is to try to explain things, to not accept uh, the answer because I said so or because it sounds good or because we've always believed that to be true uh, or it just is, and to look for underlying causes, to continually ask the question, why is it that way as opposed to some other way it could have been. Why did the three of you go from scientific rigorous research to writing? Uh, what I was doing was too interesting to keep to myself and my colleagues. I, the world uh, was interested in how the mind works and how language works and I thought it's uh, part of my responsibility as a scientist and as a professor to, to share it. So I'll admit that it's just fun. It's, you know, it's fun to write, it's fun uh, to share this excitement, but also when you're doing science, you're always at the edge of the stuff we don't understand. As a journalist, every week I get to talk to somebody who spent their entire career getting to an amazing, exciting, you know, breakthrough point, and then I get to talk to them about it. Whether you're writing fiction or non-fiction or memoir, you basically are starting out at a certain point, and then you are going to be a little surprised yourself by what, what develops, and that's the great excitement and the thrill of writing and also reading. Mm -hmm.